All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up your location, your business location in Google Ads, so that way you can get local traffic coming to your business. So let's take a look. So before we even get started on showing you how to set this up, I wanted to show you exactly what this is. So this is Google's example here of what we actually have. And you can see that we have uh, this, this is a search ad here. And below that though, you can see that they have Redwood City, they have San Carlos, they have Union City, and these are different locations for this one business. So you can see there's different phone numbers here. You'd be able to click on these different phone numbers if this was on mobile. There's also a feature that allows you to get directions if there's, if you're clicking on this with a mobile phone, you can actually get directions to the store or you can get taken to the map if you're on a, a desktop. So there's different ways of getting to this, but it's gonna show your location right below your ad. Super important to have this set up properly. All right, so here's a real world example of this. We can see that this is on the desktop, so it's gonna be different on mobile, but you can see that right now we have this down here, so we could actually click on this and go to the location. Uh, it gives us some options, it kind of stands out. It says Seattle, so we know it's a local business. So it's really handy to have this on any kind of local business, and it's really gonna help take your ads to the next level. So before we can even set this up in your ads, there's one step that's critically important that you have to have set up in order to use this. And that is that you have to have a business profile with Google. This can be a bit of a tedious step, but it's a very necessary step and you're gonna to have to go through the steps. The, the hardest part is gonna be verification. And sometimes I've even heard of them having to mail you something to verify that you're an actual business in an actual location. But there are, I believe, other ways that you can verify your business. So just keep an eye on how to verify. This might take you a little bit to go through. So if you don't already have this set up, you're gonna to have to go to google.com forward slash business. Once you're there, you're gonna to go to sign in and try to use the same email that you're using for your Google Ads. And this is gonna make your life a little bit easier, but ultimately you're just gonna follow along with the steps that Google gives you here and create your account and just make sure you're answering everything honestly because it's gonna be very important when you're setting up your Google Ads later. So now in order to set this up in Google Ads, once we have our business profile set up in Google, we come over to our ads, we sign in with our Google Ads and get to the campaign here. So go to campaigns and we're gonna come down to where it says assets and we're gonna click on assets and there's another one here called assets. And now we can do this in a specific campaign or you can just do it in your account. And we're gonna find over here, this one called location. So click on that one. And now we're gonna click this plus button here, this big blue plus button. And it gives us two options, it gives us locations and affiliate locations. We're gonna select our locations. This is when you own your own store. So this is the one I'm showing you how to set up here. So it's continue. Now we have Google Business Profile. This is gonna be the one used by most people. If you have a big chain, then you could probably go ahead with chain stores, but that's gonna be for big stores that Google's actually gonna recognize. You're not gonna find many stores unless you're working with a big company. This one here is gonna be for the majority of people. So click on Google Business Profile and you're gonna come down here, and if you use the same email address, you will see that you have a location here and you can hit continue with this. If it says zero locations, it's because you use a different email address on your Google profile. So we're gonna come down here to one of these two options. We can request access to another business profile manager account. This is if it's another email address and we know that email address. So if you have the email address for your Google profile, you can now type it in here. Or if you don't know the email address, but you know that you wanna connect it to a certain website, you can come down here to enter a domain to ask for access. And now you can come in here and you can actually enter your website in. So if it was my website here, it'd be focusyouradz.com. And mine's not a local business, so it's not gonna work for mine, but I could come in here now and I could actually select the country. So I could come in here and say Canada, or United States, depending on where you are, say done. And you're gonna see the website down here, as long as it's an actual local business and actually has a Google profile attached to it. Once you've done that, you're gonna select that business here and say continue. So now once you've completed this, you're gonna see that you have a business profile attached to your Google Ads, and you'll see it up here and you can see the level here. So this, if I've attached it to my account level, I'll see it here. If you did this directly in a campaign, you might see this at the campaign level. So just make sure you know what level it's attached to. If you do it at the account level, then it'll affect all your campaigns. If you do it at a campaign level, it's just gonna affect that one campaign. Uh, you can always change this by coming in here and hitting the plus button here and add it into a different level here. So I could select account 
and or I could select ad group if I wanted to change it at the ad group level, the campaign level, or the account level. Here's also a great example of what it actually looks like. I'm gonna blur the text out here because it's a business that I'm actually working with, but you'll see that the text here is, this another way it will display your ad. You can see headline one, headline two, description one, description two, and then down here you can see this little marker here and it's gonna have your location over here. So this is gonna be the location you're seeing over here. Again, it's blurred out, but you'll you can kind of get the idea of how it looks uh, directly in Google Ads and it's going to show you an example there when you actually set this up. So let's say it's been about a week and you've now had this running for about a week, maybe you've had it running for a month, you want to see what's actually happening with this asset. So in order to do that, go into your campaigns, go under assets and you're going to see some information at the bottom here. So I've brought you to a live account. You can see that this information now, we have the clicks, we have impressions, we have click-through rate, we have cost per click. Cost, we can actually add in some more information if we want by going to columns. And we can select a whole bunch of different columns in order to get some more information on this. Because it can be so tricky to track an actual conversion for this, you can't exactly say that, yeah, that person actually walked into my store. There are some ways to do it, but it's tricky. This least gives you kind of an idea on how many people are actually clicking on your location directly from your ads, how many people are interested in finding your business. So this is a great place to come look for it right down here and you're gonna see this at the bottom of any campaign as long as you go under assets, locations, you will see that in your campaigns or at the account level. So this location asset is great and can really help you out but if you're not actually setting up your targeting properly in Google Ads, then all this can be a waste. So make sure you check out this next video where I show you exactly how to target different locations in your Google Ads the proper way. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.